In the state's new battleground, locals are doing their best to fight the latest surge. It's going to be a little bit of a sting now. The Hunter New England region is the new epicentre of infections and has now ticked over 1,000 active cases. A quarter of those are Indigenous. The numbers each, each day at the moment are really unsettling. We're not that surprised. We did feel that this was going to happen. Local Aboriginal groups have banded together to ramp up Indigenous vaccinations. But fears remain for when the regions open next week. There are a lot of health issues and um, if it does come down to survival of the fittest, my fear is that we are not going to be uh, on the podium receiving any medals for that. While the hunter vaccination rate has picked up, just 67% of Indigenous people over 12 are fully vaccinated. There have been more than 5,000 infections, 550 hospitalisations, 60 in intensive care and 12 people have died. Community leaders say there is still a lot of vaccine hesitancy, mostly among young Indigenous people. Some communities like where I work in Yarraba, you know, we're going door to door talking to people about it and delivering vaccines in their homes. While vaccinations are key, authorities say the focus must also be on improving the response to outbreaks. If we don't design our programs for population health around the individual needs of populations and communities, we're going to confront this issue again. An issue authorities say can't be solved without being driven by the local community. Nakari Thorpe, ABC News.